All right, welcome back to the iOS development channel, Max Codes. I just wanted to make a quick video on state, and this is actually extremely easy to create, okay? This is a little counter app in Swift UI. Okay, now I know a lot of you already know exactly how to do this. This literally took me like 30 seconds to make. So I just wanna show you how easy it is. Let's go ahead and create a single view app, and I'm just gonna call this Swift UI counter, all right? And here's the deal. I want to make a video for beginners, not only by making this video, but also in regular Swift on how to make a counter app, all right? And to make a counter app in an actual like application that does not use Swift UI, it's a lot more code. So what I'm gonna do is make another video probably sometime this week and upload it. And you'll be able to see just how much how much more code it takes to write a counter app in a regular Swift application. So if you are looking at forward to kind of checking that out, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll be able to upload that video. Now, I know a lot of you are probably like, oh, he finally uploaded a video. And then it's just like this little counter app video. So I'm sorry to you guys, but I will be uploading more content this week. I'm gonna be uploading daily still. I just got in a little rut the past few days kind of busy with some personal things, but I'm back now and I'll still be uploading those daily Swift UI videos, okay? And I'm gonna go through all the comments today. A lot of people have been commenting on my channel lately. I'm gonna go through those all today and uh, reply and let people know the answer to their questions, okay? So don't worry about that. All right, so to get started, we wanna get rid of that text. I just created a blank Swift UI application. And what I wanna do is create a V stack, okay? So just a vertical stack. If you've gone through my previous Swift UI videos or my Swift UI course, on Udemy, then you uh, understand what a VStack is, okay? And instead of hello world, let's just go ahead and pop in a text and say current count. And I'm gonna use string interpolation and put in a variable called count. Okay, now make sure you put a space after this because if you don't, it's gonna like kind of cut it off and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll get rid of that space. And we have to declare this variable, right? Now the way you declare a variable in state is you say at state with a capital S and then var count. Now I made a medium article and a video on state. Not sure if you've watched that, but it explains state a little bit more. Okay, so count, and I'm just gonna make this a integer equal to zero. And sorry about like these weird uh, text sizes. I'm not sure if that's like a feature of Xcode 11, but this is beta software, so that's probably why that's happening. I don't think that's a feature. I think it's a bug, but who knows? Maybe it's not. If it's not, drop a comment and let me know, because I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so right now it says current count and it doesn't really show anything. Let me go ahead and try compiling that again. And if you're not running Catalina, just make sure you compile to the XR simulator. Okay, so it says current count zero. Let's go ahead now and write a button. And this button is simply just going to have an action and a label. This action will just say self.count plus equal one. And then the label will be a text that says increment, okay? Now, what's gonna happen when we click this button is it's gonna increment the count and display it automatically. Let me go ahead and hit play. Okay, now the reason this is so much more difficult in normal Swift programming is because it's not reactive. It doesn't like actively kind of recompile, right? And this is like something you'd see in a React app, right? This, what's going on right here. And I actually really like this style of programming, but I'm not sure if it's really great for iOS development, if I'm being 100% honest, not for like the deeper down reasons, which I'm sure there are, but just because I just like really like traditional Swift iOS development, but maybe this will come along and be better around its actual like official release because this is beta and maybe I'll actually really like it. But so far I prefer just regular Swift programming, even though it does take a lot more work. Okay, so now what we wanna do is just put a space after this count, just so it doesn't cut it off, okay? And then I'm gonna add a leading to the V stack. Just, I'm gonna command click and hit inspect and hit this left thing right here. Now, if you're running Mojave, you don't have that, but you can just type that in and it will work just fine. Okay, so increment and you'll see it works great. Okay, so really that's all I wanted to upload today. I just wanted to make a quick video on Swift State just so you get a little bit more experience with it. Maybe some of you beginners out there who are new to the channel wanted to learn a bit about Swift UI State and this helped you out. But either way, I'd appreciate a like, a comment, and I'll go through all my comments today. I have a ton that I'm gonna go through right after I finish recording this as this is uploading to YouTube. So don't worry about that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the very next video.